What's up, everybody? Welcome back to A Beer Day with TK. It is a frigid, rainy Friday evening here in May, uh, which is a bit odd, but it is what it is. Anderson's in the house, obviously. We're going to check out some new beers. Tomorrow we got some plans. We're going to hit a beer festival here in town, um, so it should be a fun time. So what's happening, Anderson? Well, I'm excited to hit this, uh, was it, the Northwest Ohio Railroad Preservation Finley Beer and wine. That's a hell of a lot of words, right? Something like that. Yeah, title. It's a long, long title. I'm interested to see this event tomorrow. Yeah, it should be pretty cool. There's probably about I don't know eight or ten breweries there. Who's there? No, Ice Steer is going to be there. Laird, Finley Brewing Company, Railroad Brewing, 1820 Beer Works, and a couple other ones I hadn't heard of. A few others, yeah. Yeah. So it should be pretty interesting. Um, We're going to try to shoot a video there, depending, of course, on on weather and what the conditions are like. Uh, But hopefully, we get to do it on location at the beer festival. Well, anyway, today we have this one here called Scotch Silly, and this came from the Rare Beer Club. As Anderson is a member of the bourgeoisie, he (laughs) gets to have these rare beers sent to him once a month, and this is one of the ones that came in. Um, Scotch Silly is from the Brasserie de Silly. I'm sure it's probably pronounced some other way. It's Belgian, Um, but, you know, it's Brasserie de Silly. I went to Untapped. I didn't think I'd had any of their beers before, but it looks like I've had two. And would you have one of them? I've had one. There's probably another rare beer one from a few years ago. Right. Cause what was, right. was it five years ago or something? It was a while. Five or six years ago. Yeah. Um, so we had one of these before, but it looks like they make kind of like a base um, Scotch ale, and then they do all these different variations. So I've had the Scotch one, and then one in, I don't remember, one of the other casks. And I was, think, it, was it bourbon barrel or? Not the bourbon one, because that's what I thought sounded the best, because Scotch ales and bourbon barrel casks are, what else would or be bourbon be? casks what are nice. Would be. Um, I, it might have been some kind of other wine cask. So this one's burgundy. In, burgundy yeah, burgundy girl. one. This one is a, in a Pinot Noir cask, so I'm kind of you know interested to see what this is going to be like. Scotch ale aged in Pinot Noir barrels. Uh, full disclosure, I'm not a wine fan. Nor am I. So I don't know. I, I dig the barrel aging thing, and I think some things work really nicely. So when you do stouts and bourbon barrels, money, right? That works 99% of the time. Uh, generally, anything in a... The white wine barrels I don't care for, although I will say the Russian River one we had was was good in the, the wine barrels. Um, so, hey, maybe we'll get lucky. Maybe this will be worth doing. Ready? I'm ready to see you shoot myself in the face with this. Poke out an eye or knock the light bulb out or some other I'm gonna try my tragedy. Damn this not to lose an eyeball here. All jokes aside, you know, I always say it never really happens. One day I opened it, it shot up past my face, and I thought, hmm. Lesson learned. All right, be ready in case this goes everywhere. As long as it goes all over you, I'm okay with it. Shh. Let's check it. Yeah, that's not too bad. Pretty harmless. That was anticlimactic. Yeah, let's see if the cork's got anything, anything neat on it. Just looks like some grape leaves. Nothing too exciting. Sometimes they have their own kind of custom corks, but it is at least a real cork, not those plastic things. I'm not a huge fan of those. I know they're probably better, but I just prefer the traditional. Better, cheaper, or something. Yeah. All right, my brother, let's give it a shot. What color do you think this will be? Uh, I was going to no. say reddish. <laughs> I was thinking red, but Scotch Ales are some of my favorite styles of beer. Um, I love the maltiness. I love the kind of big ABV. Um, so I'm hoping this comes through. Because I hate to think that they took a really nice Scotch Ale and you know, ruined, ruined it. With wine? Yeah. This one's coming in at 10%, so, you know, decent ABV. As far as ratings, there wasn't really a whole lot to go on. Um, Some people had checked into Untapped at a 3.9. Beer Advocate at a 4.03. But there are very limited check-ins, and most of them kind of reference the Rare Beer Club. So it was obviously, you know, the other bourgeoisie members. They'd receive theirs, um, and we're giving it a shot. So, all right, I'm going with the Finley Brewing class today. What do you have? I have the, the, Southern, Star. the Southern Star. Yes, the Southern Star Representing Brewing Company from Texas. The Republic of Texas. All right, ready? Well, let's take a look at it first. I guess, you know, it kind of has that um, the Scotch Ale look, right? It's kind of like dark. If you hold it up to the light, usually you get kind of like a, a reddish kind of hue. Um, but it's like a dark, dark caramel color. The, the head, nice kind of tan color. I mean, mine's probably about two fingers or so. I've got about one. I poured yours worse, of course, but that's... But know. it's sticking around. Yeah, I mean, it looks pretty good. 
Well, the tulip glass is supposed to encourage a frothy head. Yeah, the, the nicer head. So I guess it's doing that. Luckily, we had these. So we had the appropriate <laughs> glassware. They actually said the appropriate glassware was a thistle glass. I've never heard of that. I, I, I'm trying to picture what it looks like because it says it's like a tulip glass, but shaped like the thistle, right? Which is like the, the flower of Scotland. Um, but I just can't imagine what the heck it would look like. All right. If only there was a device that we could look up thistle glass and see what it looks like, right? There might be some way we could do that. Just give it a sniff. That smells like wine to me, my brother. What do you think? I'm not getting, yeah, I mean, a little bit of alcohol, a little bit of wine, maybe a little bit of malt in the, in the nose. I was thought it would smell more like that malty, caramelly kind of thing, but to it's me, I'm thinking of it. But I think you pick up the wine, the, the, the pinot casks the most. It's not overpowering, not not a terrible smell, just that's the first thing I kind of noticed. All right, let's do this. Pinky out for the queen. Cheers. What do you think? Definitely get the booziness on the back end. Yeah, I kind of expected that, 10%. You think you kind of get it when you I don't, when you drink it. I don't really notice the wine. I, I think you can taste it a little bit. I think you pick up the malt, obviously. Yeah, the definitely the malt. You know that it's a bit boozy, um, but it's not that it's not that like sweet kind of sick alcoholy taste. You feel the burn, but it doesn't really taste that bad with the alcohol. Um, I do think you pick up a little bit of the the wine cast, the Pinot cast, but it's not it's not too overwhelming. I was afraid that it would kind of dominate and take one of my favorite style of beer and kind of, you know, dump on it essentially, but it, it really didn't. You know, after taking a sip of it, I can smell the wine more mm. than initially, but I still don't think it, it... I almost wonder if this would be something that wasn't better if you let it sit around the wall and warm up a slight bit. You know what I mean? See what happens? Possibly. But I don't, I don't think it tastes that much like... Nothing too funky peanut. on the bottom. I was looking for floaters or grossness, but I don't really see anything there. I like it. I like it. It's better than expected. Definitely yeah. better than expected. Now, I think I probably would have preferred just the regular old Scotch Ale, but if we're looking for a variant, um, this one's not bad. So I would give it a thumbs up. I don't know. What do you think? I would definitely give it a thumbs up. Yeah. I would drink it again. Um, I, I think it's a good selection. So, you know, wise choice, folks, at the, the Rare Book Club. Um, rare know, book club? Rare book club. Rare beer club. <laughs> I was thinking of these nerds in their ivory tower with leather books and, you know, I'm get, probably getting ready. Graduation is this this Sunday, so I got to put on my my nerd attire and, and march around. Well, they would be drinking out of goblets in my in my Harry Potter outfit. Yeah, um, but yeah, I think it's a good choice. I would drink it again. So big thumbs up for me. Anderson's digging it as well. If you like the video, please give us a thumbs up. Hit that like button. If you want to see more videos like this, please hit subscribe. And as always, you got any comments or questions? Jump in down below. Hey, tomorrow hopefully. The rain will stop and it will be a beautiful day for this event. So hopefully we'll see you with a video from the, the uh, Finley Beer Festival. So, hey, until next time. Cheers. Cheers.